Hello everybody and welcome back to Sky Bees. And in this episode, we start Astral Sorcery by making ourselves as far as a Tier 3 Altar. And we also make a few Light Wells so we can start working on getting ourselves a Blood Altar. So, I hope you enjoy. Okay, so... So today we are going to be doing some astral sorcery, getting ourselves the tier two altar so we can then make ourselves our blood altar for blood magic and then in turn be able to make ourselves a steel casing for mechanism because we need tier two altar for that. So the first things first is we need to figure out where we're actually going to put the first altar, which I want to put right around here. Now, I don't believe the book, the astral tome actually shows the layout of the altar just yet. I think I need to craft myself my first altar to be able to see where I need to put the blocks to build the altar. And where is my astral tome? That is the real question. Did I put it in a special chest somewhere? There it is. So when I'm looking here, we only have discovery, which is a luminous crafting table. This is the first one. So what I need to do is I need to make myself a wand. And then I think it's called a resonating wand. Make it, and then put down our crystal. Now, there was a quest... If you go here to Astral Sorcery, if you click here and claim this reward, you get a linking tool and a collector crystal. I may have already done that ages ago. So I've got myself a collector crystal wherever it is. I think I'll put it in this chest here. So we have the Decidia, Decidia collector crystal. And we have our linking tool, which is here. So what I need now is my wand. And I don't believe I actually have everything to make this wand. I need two Aquamarines, an Ender Pearl, and two Marble. So I have marble in the chest with the comb. So I just need one ender pearl. I think I have aquamarine made up in here. So I'll take out two of that and I have two marble right there. This should make us our resonating wand. So wand, click, done. Now, I don't know if I put down this collector crystal, can I break it again? That's the one thing I'm kind of worried about. Now, I'm trying to remember how big the actual altar art is. I think it's maximum 11 by 11. So if we were to start in this corner over here and come out 11 or so, like, um, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I'll come out to about here, meaning where this torch is would be the center. You know what? I'm just going to go for it and hope I can break it because if I can't, well, then we'll have a problem and hopefully I can move it, but I'm sure this one can be broken. Like, I wouldn't imagine they would give you one you couldn't break. So give me a stack of building blocks so I can actually put this thing down and see if I can actually place it properly. So let's just pick a random spot for now, roughly around here, maybe. Let's go up about three or four. Put the collector crystal there. Okay, I can break it. That is good. That's good to know. That'll do for now. Let's break this and put ourselves a crafting table because I need to turn a crafting table into a luminous crafting table. So got myself a crafting table. Just eat a bit of food. I have been eating one of every type of comb because apparently that gives you extra health as well or hearts. So that's what I've been doing. So link to so right click this guy to this guy. Oh, there we go. That was actually quite easy. And then I think you just stop scroll. You scroll off the tool to stop it from linking. So exploration. So here's the first tier uh, two altar. So here's what the layout needs to be. So we need marble arches, marble runes, sooty marble, marble brick, and chiseled marble. Otherwise, you could just look at the little star here and it'll show you everything that you need. So to be able to make this altar, you have to actually craft it first. So to make this, you have to put down all the ingredients into the this altar right here. And then once it's turned nighttime, you can actually then like um, use it. And actually, it is turning nighttime now. So let's actually build ourselves the altar quickly. Hopefully, we can do it before it turns morning again. I don't know we have any other way to actually make it nighttime. I know there's a way on blood magic, but of course, we haven't even started blood magic yet. So I'd have to wait an entire like time to, to get it done. Now, the only marble we have is from the bees here. Ooh, that craft solids. So we only have these, this 10 marble. So where is my other marble comb? Marble, rubber, 35 marble comb. Let's put this in here and get this processed up. And put all this in here. 
Uh, what's wrong with you? Oh, you're not. You don't have enough glass bottles. Okay. Let's compress all this down into honey blocks. And put these back in here. There we go. And put this comb, I don't know, up here. Now we just need a little bit of time to wait for this to process into the, the marble. Because this should give us nine marble per thing. It's a guarantee. There we go. So, to make sooty marble. So, let's have a look up marble. So, sooty marble. I believe it's just coal. Yeah. So, just marble surrounded by coal. 16 of that should be enough. I actually think it tells you the exact values in here. Uh, I need 21 sooty marble. So, I'm going to need a lot more marble than that. Uh, another 18. That should definitely be enough now. So, 16... 24, definitely enough now. And how much marble brick do we need? We need 24 marble brick, 28 marble arches, and 8 chiseled marble. Damn, a lot of marble for just one little altar. But it'll be fine once we have all of the marble processed up. And I know my bee has a lot more than that down there. So 28 of that. Now the marble arches, let's see. That's rune marble. Is it rune marble I need? I just need arches and pillars. Okay, so the pillar is just made like this. That's easy enough. How many pillars do I need? Eight? Okay, I have two already. Should be enough marble now to make them more. So, I said I need eight. So, there's eight marble pillars. I need marble arches. Or, I need four of these, actually. So, there we go. The marble arches. I can't remember exactly how many it said. I think, I think 28. Yeah, 28 and, oh, 8 chiseled marble. Oh, yeah, because chiseled marble goes in the corners then, too. Right. That's 28 of them, and I think in the corners here, there we go. That should be everything. I think that's all of it now. So let's go actually build this. And I just remembered, actually, I need to put starlight relays on the corners then as well. So I think what we should do is find where the corner is here, and then we're going to move it forward about 3. So we're actually going to start building it here. Okay. Let's have a look at the picture here. So the corners are empty and I need to go over how many blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So from this one block here, I need to go over one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then just go this way again. And then this way. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. So I need to fill this corner here with the marble arches. Okay. Now, is this going to mine everything? It is. I don't want it to do that. And I'm not wearing my jetpack. So if I fall off right now, this will be bad. Okay. I should be just mine that. Perfect. So then on the inside here, after that, we need to put a ring of brick. So the brick is going to be excluding the corners going across like this because the chisel is going to go in the corners. And then one in the center of each piece like that. Good. Then we're going to have our chiseled pieces go here, here, and here. Oh, one more there. Go up two on the pillars. There we go. And then put a chiseled on top of each pillar. Hopefully this is all correct so far. Then you fill the actual empty spot in here then with all sooty. And once that is done, you should be able to put your luminous crafting table here. And I believe there's enough room here then to add on our... Actually, I think this thing is actually going to be expanded one more this way. So maybe when I upgrade the tier three, I might need to move this forward a bit. We'll see. But anyway, for now, this is ready. So all I have to do is just put a block here, put the crystal on top, break this, and then... Actually, maybe I should put the crystal one more higher. Yeah, that looks a lot better. Right, just link it to this. So right-click this to this and... This is getting plenty of starlight. So all we have to do now is actually grab all the ingredients to upgrade the table. Now, of course, to make the second one, we are going to need a bucket of liquid starlight, which is going to require a light well. So that's going to require a rock crystal, two aquamarine, rune marble, two chiseled, and another two ruined. So let me go quickly grab all that. Okay, I was looking at how I'm supposed to get rock crystals. And I thought maybe I need a rock crystal B to be able to make myself rock crystals. But of course, that's how you're going to do it. But it turns out it actually makes the rock crystal ore. And you can craft a rock crystal ore if you have some marble aquamarines and some stone. So that actually saves me for that part. Because I was not sure how I was supposed to get that. So I need rune marbles. So I need a couple of these. Rune marble, that. And that's it then. 
So I have the aquamarines now. So all I need to do is make the ore, but I don't think I have any stone in this chest. I think my stone is over here in this chest when I was making the living rock. Let's have a look in here. Enough stone. The moon is going down. The sun will be rising quickly now soon. I don't think we're going to generate enough liquid starlight to do it tonight. So I might need to do it the following night. Uh, so the ore, so rock crystal. So let's look up rock. So rock crystal ore. Uh, marble. Oh, I used up all the marble. Hang on. Grab this marble over here and click on that. I don't need to make too much. I'll make eight for now. That should be plenty. All I have to do now is put it down and then break it. There we go. Plenty of rock crystals for now. They're all going to be different sizes, which is going to mess up our inventory space and whatever. But that's fine for now. I can just chuck it all in here. But later on, when we set up like the actual automation of creating rock crystals, I have a feeling they're all just going to be the same one until you take it out and hold it. But we should have everything now to go over here and make ourselves some liquid starlight wells. Uh, we might make a few, actually. Maybe we'll go grab a few more rock crystals. Upwards of maybe six will be a good number. So tr two, three, four, five, six. And then we'll use aquamarines to fill the actual thing or generate liquid starlight. So let's see if we can do this quickly, because I'm pretty sure we're going to start running out of starlight now soon. If we haven't already. Okay, we might have enough now. Um, I probably actually don't have enough to make more than just two here so let's see if we can just make the two yeah okay we're out of starlight even though this has give providing a starlight apparently it's not enough which is a bit of a disappointment but it's whatever by the time i'd say this thing has produced a bucket actually it's going quite quick we might even get a bucket like really quickly now there is no other way to sleep unless the hammock mods in here uh by the looks of it it doesn't seem so so i'm gonna have to wait for it to turn nighttime again which is probably gonna be like another 20 minutes so I'll be back when it's night time and we can make ourselves our actual tier two starlight crafting altar. So, BRB. All right, it is finally... Oh, there goes that crystal. Yep, so this thing is completely full of liquid starlight now. Two buckets worth and... Oh, a flare spawned. Hello. Goodbye. <laughs> I don't actually know the purpose of them. I think they're just little entities that spawn when you start doing some astral stuff. But I've also gone ahead and prepared two little areas where we're going to put our astral relays now as well. So we'll be making these two. So it requires glass panes, which are glass panes surrounded by aquamarines. But we'll get to that now in a minute. So we need to go in here and craft our next two uh, or five of these guys. Too bad these things don't stack. So I'm going to have to craft them one by one like this. Okay. And then now the last one. Done. There we go. So then we got five total or six in total that we can put down here for now. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab some glass panes and start making these lenses so we can start making two astral relays. Now I should have enough glass in here somewhere. I have glass shards so that should make me enough glass here. So 16 glass panes. I need a little bit more aquamarine. Let's grab that then too. And I should have everything pretty much ready to go then. So what else are we going to need now for the altar? So we need to four marble pillars, two chisel marble, a bucket of liquid starlight, and a rock crystal. I have one rock crystal on me. I need to grab myself some buckets for the starlight. So one bucket there. Take myself some rune marble arches. So four of them. And what was it? Two chisels? I think it was chiseled, was it? Yeah, chisels. I need to make a few more chisels. There we go. Oh, no, there we go. All right. So back over here now. And let's make these lenses. So all I have to do is put the glass panes in the center. Surround it with aquamarines like this. Right click that. And this should make us 16 panes or 16 lenses there we go now does this require pacific wood no it looks like any plank marble and gold nuggets so let's go get ourselves some planks and gold nuggets thanks from the saw machine and i have plenty of gold melted up so should be okay for now and i only need four because i'm only making two after relays there we go and what was it the marble i have the marble on me so is that everything i believe that's it so let's grab our bucket and grab our liquid starlight there we go. And what I can do then is with the aquamarines, I can put them on top of this thing to start generating up a ton more. So astral relays make two of these. There we are. I put one here and one over here. All I have to do is put a lens in it and this will start feeding it starlight. You see all the particles going across, across and it's giving it maximum starlight at the moment. So let's upgrade our altar. So here two, let's go. This will probably take a second, all these particles as it's building itself, which is pretty cool. There we go. Tier 2 altar, and we get back our bucket. 
So, we've unlocked the, the stage attunement. If we wanted to, we can do some attunement, but I'm not going to be worrying about doing some attunement just yet. Here's the next tier altar, the Celestial Altar. So we need to upgrade our altar to this design. Now, I don't believe it actually goes any bigger. Two more flares that are spawning. Um, hopefully, shouldn't go any too bigger. Like, what size is this? 11 by 11? So, because I'm just wondering, am I going to have to move this whole altar? Uh, I hope not. You know what? I probably will. Yeah, but it looks about I might need to do that. Right, let me clear this out, or break it all, and prepare the actual size, and then we can go ahead and build this altar then, too. Alright, this should be the full size of it now. So I know I'm going to need a lot more marble brick. So let's make a lot more of that there now. So looking at this design, we need to fill the entire outside with marble brick. So fill in the corners like this, I believe is correct. Is it already turning daytime? Or Wow, okay, that was quick. There we are. I don't believe there's any special spells in Astral Sorcery that gives us the ability to turn at nighttime. So I think we're just going to rely on blood magic for that. So that should be the entire design, hopefully. Um, it says then in these spots right here need to go. Is it right? Them spots? Yes. And underneath is OK. So it's just plain marble brick in the corners like this, like so. And right here, I'm just going to put down with a sooty marble so I can start setting up the relays now as well. So the arches go in the sides like this and then the chiseled go in the corners. There we are. And then put down our relays like so. Then in the corners right here, we need to put ruined marble up like this. Is that correct? Let me just double check my tome. Yes. And then we stack it with two marble arches. There we are. And can I reach the chiseled marble from down here? Or is that going to be an awkward way to do it? Okay, it looks like it's going to be a bit awkward. So I'm just going to have to stack up on some planks to be able to place these down. So chiseled and chiseled. There we go. So then in the center, do I just fill it up with sooty marble then? Yeah, it is. Okay. Do I ha I don't believe I actually have enough. So let me go make a little bit more. All right, should have enough now. And I'll just place down one row and then you see my builders want to fill the rest in. Oh, never mind. I thought I had enough. Never mind. Let me go make a little bit more. And now I should have enough. Perfect. So all I can do now is put down my altar right in the center. Wait, where the hell's the center? Is this the center? It says it's wrong. Oh, I should not have upgraded this altar. I am an idiot. This, hmm, I messed up. I forgot I need to upgrade the actual altar before I upgrade the actual platform for it because the celestial altar requires this layout, not the actual starlight and crafting altar. Right. <laughs> I should be a bit more patient. Um, right. So that means I need to go back a page and go back over to here to exploration and rebuild this altar. Lucky enough, I should be able to just do it laid out right here so let me quickly rebuild that altar okay so i've rebuilt the altar and i realized for the next tier altar celestial one let me unbookmark them the celestial one's going to require star metal ingots now star metal comes from iron ore either being uh where is it uh starlight transmutation so i need to transform this iron ore into star metal ore now the way i believe you do that is if i put a row of iron ore like right here now, I grab myself my linking tool, and I right-click this, and I should be able to just click each one, like that, and, yep, okay, it's transforming. I thought it would take a lot longer than that, but it will slowly transform all this iron ore into star metal. Now, if I break it, all I have to do now is just put down the iron ore again, and it will just keep repeating it because this area is now linked to the crystal. Now, if I think if I shift-right-click it, it will unlink the actual altar, or everything is connected to, so that will work. So I can just do that, and then do it one more time. And the sun is starting to go down now, so hopefully once it turns to night time, I should have enough star metal to actually go ahead and actually then, of course, make our celestial altar. So let me let those two go. And now I need to come over here and start smelting this, because I need to make myself a star metal cutter, I believe it's called. So star metal cutting tool. It's made like this. So one star metal ingot infused wood planks. That's where the starlight uh, light wells are going to have to come in again. Because I need to make myself another bucket of, light, of liquid starlight. 
Let me break these for now. And I'm actually just going to set these guys up over here. Hopefully there's no dark patches. There is, of course. So, give me back that, that torch. Put that there and we should be good to go. Oh, wait. This whole area is on, uh, not lit up, which isn't good. Uh, I'll just do this for now. Doesn't necessarily have to be complete. And since we're no longer making star metal, you can see all these light things that it's going to Just shift right click it and it'll unlink them all. And all we're going to do is link the actual table. So I need to give these aquamarines so that they can start producing liquid starlight. I need to make myself an entire bucket, throw some logs into, into it. I believe it's logs anyway, to make infused planks. Let me have a look here. Is there an actual recipe for that in here? Yes, it is. As a fibrous material soaking in uh, soaking wood in liquid starlight results in the liquid being drawn into the fibers, impregnating the empowering of the wood. Okay. So infused wood says just throwing logs or planks into the liquid starlight would make it that way. So grand. We just need to get, wait until we have an entire bucket of liquid starlight. All right, there we go. Each one has at least a bucket and a half in it. So one bucket of starlight and I can just put this in the ground right here. Now, I can't remember if it's actually planks or logs. Let me throw in a stack of planks and see if anything happens. No, it has to be logs. And standing in that also gives me night vision, which is kind of cool. I can see in everything per perfectly over there. But anyway, so it needs to be logs. So let me grab myself a stack of logs and throw it into that pool of liquid starlight. It should make myself infused. And it's already the moon's going down. I need to do this kind of quick. Let's chuck this in here. Uh, yep, you can see the brown little particles and you can see the wood transforming, which is exactly what we need now. So while it's transforming, actually, I'm going to actually no, I can leave that there for now. Let's come over here and grab our star metal that I had smelting. So all of it's done. Now, is there anything else I need before this? Just pillars and chisel. So I have the chisel. I have the chisel and not the pillars. So let me make a few more pi pillars. There we go. Now I have to run back over here and start cutting down some of this now. Do I need anything else for the star cutting tool? I just need gold nuggets. Okay. All right. All of this should be transformed. Should just jump in, grab it. And now this thing has to be cut down into the planks first. So let's do this by putting one in there and grab my wand, right clicking. There we go. Now let's make ourselves our cutting tool and done. But this one's actually taking a bit of time. I don't think the cutting tool will take that what long. There we go. So I think for this is I just chuck a few pieces on the ground. So there we go. And I think I'll just spam left click. Yep, there we go. And we should have everything now to make ourselves a celestial altar. Except for one rock crystal. Okay, I need to go grab one of those quickly. Right, so celestial altar. Here we go. Right click with the wand. It'll craft it. And then I have to rebuild the altar I mistakenly built first. There we go. Your vision expands. You learn more about the constellation. And I've got the achievement shooting across the sky. So with that now, with this type of altar, we technically didn't need this one to make um, the other stuff, but we might as well have made it anyway. Celestial collector crystal, which would be way better than this type of collector crystal, which is kind of weird that we already know the recipe for that. So, hmm. But anyway, so I need to break this down and rebuild the altar. So I'll be back when I have that done. And there we go. So now this is completely working. I have the relay set up. So this thing is getting plenty of starlight. It is currently going down because, of course, the moon is setting and the sun is starting to rise. But now that we have this altar, we can actually um, later on, if we wanted to, do some self-attuning so we can make ourselves more powerful or give ourselves special skills. But the whole purpose of doing astral sorcery is so we can get ourselves into blood magic. So next episode... Blood Altar, we need to make ourselves some Demon Will, which means we're going to have to make ourselves some Soul Snares, capture some mobs, and then later on we could actually just make it manually without having to worry about using up the load of iron. But the Blood Altar then will allow us to turn blocks of steel into steel casing. And yeah, and then later on we can actually start working on the power energizing system and make ourselves centrifuge casing so we can start centrifuging up a lot of honeycomb really, really fast. So I'm going to end there. Hope you all enjoyed. And if you did, don't forget to like button, subscribe if you're new. Hope to see you on the next episode. So without further ado, goodbye. <laughs>